Hey, welcome back, guys. I figured I'd start this one off with the first ever Divine Herb Patch 3 on the account. So here we go. Let's see what sort of goodies we can actually get from this. And supposedly it fills up your bar like eight times faster or something. So I don't even know if we can get a full inventory from this thing. But either way, these are all better quality herbs. And yeah, very, very excited at that. But I'm just currently doing the Jack of Trades for the day. I've continued this one straight off from the last episode. So the stats are the same. The summoning, we are 450,000 off of 95, which isn't too bad. And yeah, as I thought, we can't even get a full inventory from this. Hmm. Not quite sure whether or not I'm going to do that or stick with Herb Patch 2s. But I suppose it all depends on what herbs I need. I am not very adept at herb lore. I think I'm going to have to start learning that. But either way, that will be one for the future. So today, we are going to start questing. We need to get to Prif as soon as possible and start utilising everything that's in that area. So I'm going to continue my Jack of Trades and then we'll start some questing. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Just finishing off the Reaper task and got... A Carol's offhand pistol crossbow. Cool. Sweet. Awesome. And collection log update. Nice. Well, that's one Reaper task done. Next one is KBD, but I am a little bit uh, a little bit rusty on this one, so I don't know. Um I should be alright. I've got an anti-poison and an anti-fire. Just in case. And obviously better armor since I was last here and a vanquish because I don't think I had vanquish when I was doing this last time I think I was only 60 combat so I should be all right I should be all right let's uh let's give it a go oh I can't remember what you pray for it is it melee or ranged I honestly don't know I think it is melee I might just pray magic and hope I don't get annihilated I'm gonna drink a dose of both things and hopefully be alright with this. We've got plenty of sharks anyway. Yeah, it seems to be melee mainly, so... <laughs> then as soon as I change to uh, melee, it starts magicking. Wow! Yeah, that's a lot of magic. I think I'll stick with magic, yeah. I've got to do a few of these, though. That's the problem now. Maybe I do that. And that. There we go. Look at the damage there, that's not bad. Go on, go for it. Take it down, there we go. There we go. Sweet. Okay, so I did use a little bit of food, which is understandable. That's fair dues. But, yeah, Praying Mage, I think, is going to be the better option. And make sure I keep my anti-fire up. Okay, so, questing time, and um, we're going to start things off with big chompy bird hunting. And supposedly, I've got to bring range gear and this, and an emergency shark, just to be safe. I don't think I'll need it, mind you. But, yeah, let's get it done. And there we go. Job done. Easy peasy. Another two quest points for free, basically. So, <laughs> yeah, nice one. Okay, so next up is Roving Elves, I think it's called. Never done this one before either. So all brand spanking new stuff for me. Off we go. Uh, right, so I've got to keep hopping worlds to actually try and find the NPC. <laughs> uh, okay, that's weird. Aha! Four worlds later, finally found him. Here we go. I think this is the one I need to talk to. And accept the quest. Awesome. Okay, time to punch the crap out of a moss giant. Um, I know you can use your pickaxe, but I've got an Elder Rune one equipped on my tool belt, so I'll just punch it. I think I'm pretty capable. Yep, yeah, there we go. Easy done. And it's dropped. Consecration seed. Okay. <laughs> Easy as that. Uh, I've got a hot worlds again. Oh my days. Right, okay. <laughs> 
Oh, my days, where are they? I started up here. I'm down here. <laughs> How many more worlds? What's going on? And now everything's taking forever to load. Oh, come on. What's happening? Where are you? <laughs> come on. This world, please. This world? No, not this world. Oh my days, no wonder it's called Rovin. My god. This one? Are you going to be nice? And no. Great. Awesome. Have I got to go back to the top? Go on then. <laughs> oh god, finally. That took forever. Right. What have we got now? Another seed thing. Okay. <laughs> right, okay. Seed planted. Job done. Let's go back to the elves. Hopefully I don't need to hop again. Oh, God. Right, okay, this should be it now, then. Let's just spam through it as we do. And... All right, so this is... How you get the bow. Awesome. There we go. One quest point, 10,000 strength experience, and partially used crystal bow. Okay, so it's tier 70 bow. And 20% charge. Got no idea how you recharge the thing. Don't need the keys anymore, I'm guessing. And um, I think I'll keep hold of the pebble, honestly, just to be safe. But yeah, job done. Awesome. Right, well, already having a little break from questing. I've come to the Hall of Memories to try this thing out. And it's pretty good, actually. The only problem is by doing this, obviously, I'm not collecting any energies. But... I would like to get divination up to 95 like as fast as possible so I can harvest the best energies then when it comes to recharging my packs and stuff like that it's not going to take as long because obviously that's going to be an ongoing thing so I'm just trying to level up this little robot guy thing here so I need to get 250 and I'm at 111 so far so not doing too bad and then obviously you fill these jars up you chuck them in a big hole so it's jars in holes, not balls in holes in here. And then, um, yeah, you get a big experience drop. So pretty good, pretty chill. I can do this whilst uh, editing up and whatnot and learning new things. So, yeah, it's pretty good, pretty chill, nice and relaxing. Okay, so back to the questing. I'm actually going to go and do Lunar Diplomacy now because I'm sick of wearing Mystic. Yeah. <laughs> So let's go get that done. I think I've got everything, supposedly. I don't know. Again, another one I've never done. Never done it. Things are looking good so far. <laughs> I've actually made it to Lunar Isle now, which is great. Oh, spoopy spoopy. <laughs> I'm in the dream world bit. Awesome. Well, this bit takes... Far too long. I've got to go up, around here, to here, to there, to there, to there, and then it's got to be that one. If not, then God knows. <laughs> if not, then I'm calling shenanigans. But yeah, trial, trial and error stuff like this is... It's just a massive time sink, more than anything. Yeah, especially when the animations are so slow. But hey-ho, at least I only have to do it once, eh? Hey, there we go. Right, now that should be that, I hope. Because that took longer than expected. Yep, let's read and return to reality. Hopefully that is that done. I hope. And there we go, job done. Uh, 196 quest points now, that's pretty cool. Uh, 5,000 magic room crafting, access to Lunar Isle and Astral Spellbook. 50 astral runes, and yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, okay, cool, awesome. Job done. Okay, I can't wait. I've got to do it now. I know I said I was going to wait until I've unlocked Brith, but eh, itchy fingers and all that jazz. So, boom. There we go. 95 summoning. 
highest stat on the account. Wow. <laughs> oh god, 907,000 till the next level. It's going to be good though, because obviously next level is uh, Pakyak. And we can do Iron Titans now. Ooh. Yeah. Sweet. Right. How many shards? Ooh. 198. Oh dear. And I'm a little bit low on money, so I hope I can get to Prif uh, either today or tomorrow. Probably going to be tomorrow at this rate. But I need to start recycling these pouches because, yeah, cash stack is looking very bare. But 95 done. 95's done. Done. One more and then yaks. <laughs> okay, with this kill, I think that's going to be enough to fill up this urn. And that should, hopefully, be 75 prayer. Yay! Got all requirements now for Prif. Awesome. Uh, well, this is embarrassing. I've just realised that there is such a thing as an enhanced grapple that you can add to your tool belt. And you have to make a mithril uh, crossbow in order to do it. So I'll smash one of those out now. And then I think you just combine them together with some bars. Um, I, I think there's an option in here. I didn't quite look. But yeah, it's a bit weird what sort of stuff you can actually find when you have a little nosy. So those are the safe cracking things, aren't they? There it is. Yeah, I just haven't bothered looking in here. So there's lots of other stuff that I could do with having a look at. But yeah, where is it? Uh, use that on that, isn't it? Then I need to get a sinew for it. In fact, you know what? I might as well just go and kill the cow. And then over to, what is it? The range. There should be one up here, isn't there? Is there? Pretty sure there is. I forget which house, though. Is it? Is it literally this house here? Uh, yes. So, should be able to make sinew. There we go. Then sinew on that. Oh, got to spin it. Ah, oh, I forgot you had to do that as well. Wow. <laughs> I know I'm a noob, but blooming egg. This is a bit much. Right, so that's that done. Then use that on that. Then I can throw the bones. And then if I go over here now, this should hopefully be an option for it somewhere maybe no no have I got to do it in a different way huh don't know use it with that ah here we go enhanced grapple so I need five bars I'm pretty sure I've got some in the bank so I don't need to bother pulling them out of there so five bars and where are we? One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Then, nope, click it wrong thing again. Use that with that. There we go. And I can add that to the tool belt. And I've got it readily available whenever I need it. Awesome. Sweet. Wow. Uh, yeah, this has taken two and a half days. But finally, got a baby chin. No idea what's going on with it, but yeah, <laughs> not good, but at least I got one now. So what we got? Genetic mutation. Okay. What does that do? The unusual nature of this animal means its offspring are more likely to have multiple traits. All right. Okay. So maybe I should take that one out and put it as an actual breed in one in one of the other pens. Now, I was told to have rabbits with a farm totem active, because supposedly that increases breeding chance. But the chins themselves have, I think it's a 60% success rate. So, yeah, and I don't think I can add, like, different animals in the same thing. No, I can't. So, I think I'm going to forego the rabbits. I'm just going to take these out, get rid of them. 
and then we will just focus on chins from now on. So we know that this one should hopefully give us some unusual offspring. I hope. And as for these crappy rabbits, I might as well sell them to uh, Pickle because we haven't got the rabbit trader. So yeah, there we go. Four beans. Oh dear. Uh, also as well, I have actually gone to the other farm over on Anachronia and I've started doing frogs over there, which is cool. But I don't know, uh, do the beans count for both areas or is this like a separate bean place? I don't know. I haven't quite followed it out because I haven't really been looking. But yeah, so... Oh wow, we've got a sparkling one. Okay. Didn't realise I had a sparkling one. Sparkling and studly. So then we've got babies. Now then, uh, child. Is that the middle or the end stage? I think that might be the middle. So child might actually sell for a little bit more. I don't really know. Either way, I'm going to take them both out. And we will sell it to this guy here. And yep, sell the frogs. 129 beans. Hmm. Not great. That's probably due to the health and whatnot. But either way, that's that done. So I think that that is uh, going to be that. Going to be that for this uh, episode. Yeah, I think we've managed to achieve enough today. And next episode, I swear, honestly, I am going to go and do those quests. Uh, going to stop procrastinating and actually do it because yeah things are taking far too long also as well i augmented this darox axe to um go and kill black dragons and demons and whatnot to hopefully get black dragon eggs and demons because i was filling up uh infernal lands so that's what it come out with demon slayer dragon slayer mobile and what's the other one energizing whatever that does yeah, so I've been using this thing, and then we've still got the other armor, and I siphon both of them off, and I'm level 55, which is pretty cool. So I just need to keep pushing those, try and get them to 15, and then fully siphon them. And that should hopefully get me to 60 invention, which will give me... Oh no, wait, augmented item level 15. I thought I already had it. It must be level 10 then as the maximum. Yeah, level 10. So yeah, 60 gives me... Level 15 on the maximum, but it also gives me this thing here, this auto disassembler, which I think is going to be pretty handy. And speaking of handy, I've actually gone through the bank and I've got rid of a lot of things, but there's still a lot of stuff in here that I don't know whether or not I need it. It's like particular foods and this and the other. So I need to get further into quests because then I can start getting rid of obsolete items like lower grade foods like cabbages and onions and garlic and stuff things that i'm not really going to use so that's mega mega important now and then obviously arrange the herb law thing a bit better because having multiple dose of a potion takes up so many slots and it's really really annoying but i don't think there's anything i can do to change that also as well why have i got 250 myth arrows there no idea and those dragon bones can go in the main thing and I'll get rid of those later. Um, what else? What else? Ah oh, yes, we are 553 on the Crimson Charms. We have 142 green salamanders left, but I've got 523 ingots made. So we've got enough to go through uh, with the Iron Titan Golem things, whatever they're called. But I'm very low on spirit shards and I'm also very low on money. I've only got 273k. So that's going to be something I need to work on as well. Is finding a better cash income. So what I'm thinking of doing now is obviously I've changed here to Lunar Spellbook. I think I'm going to push and try and get 250,000 points over at Livid Farm. And hopefully get the Make Leather spell. Then go to Black Dragons, craft up uh, Black Dragon hide pieces and alk those because I think that could be a decent income. Not super fantastic, but it could be decent. But anyway, like I say, 
that's that for this episode. I do hope you have enjoyed it. And uh, don't forget to take care of yourselves. I'll see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.